Hello Gillsborough and welcome to another Friday Celebration Worship Assembly. The candle is lit because we know that Jesus is the light of the world and God is all around us. Now this week has been a very special week for us all, whether you're learning at home or you're learning at school. It has been Children's Mental Health Awareness Week. Now I know there's been lots of activities on your platform and I also know that on Wednesday lots of you and including myself and the teachers wore our jumpers inside out. Now we did this because we wanted to emphasise that we can't see what's on the inside of people. We only see what's on the outside and we need to be very, very aware of this. Now mental health and wellbeing is so important to everybody. We need to make sure that we are looking after ourselves and we are able to cope with the everyday stresses in life and we need to be able to do things that help us to get through any well-being or mental health issues that we have. Now the teachers are going to show you how they help their mental health and well-being and the things that they do either at home, at school. So have a look. I wonder if any of you do the same things. I always enjoy getting outside and gardening. It always helps me to feel happy and calm. I do yoga every morning in my jammies. This sets me up for the day. For my mental health and well-being, which means to keep happy and healthy in my mind and in my heart, this is what I like to do. I like to wear colourful clothes with stripes. I like to spend time with my family and my cats. And I love sewing. Year 3, 4 know that already because I'm currently making a little purse or a little bag with them online. And this is it. This is my happiness. Just thought I'd let you know the way I look after my well-being is to go for a run twice a week at school time, so in the lunch time, and then one other time when I'm not at school, a bit longer run then. I've just finished 20 minutes of running. As you can see, I'm quite hot, but I do enjoy it, particularly when it stops. I like to look after my physical and mental health together. So in the mornings I get up, and dress up warm and wear something sparkly and walk the dogs to the field. I'm getting exercise because I'm walking and being outside in the fields. I can hear the birds singing. It feels cold. It feels fresh. And I've just had a puddle to jump in. So I'm very happy. The thing that I really like to do and that I feel is good for my mental health and well-being is to read. You know that I all like to read. At the moment, I am reading this book. I don't know if you've read it, but I like to snuggle into my blanket, put the candles on, have some quiet time, and I like to get lost in a book. You should try it. I like walking in the countryside, especially by water, and even better if I'm with a really good friend to put the world to rights. And there she is, taking the camera, uh, taking a film of me. Hi guys, something I do to improve my general well-being and mental health is going for a run. It can be a long run, it can be a short run, uh, but no matter what the length of the run, one thing I can say for sure is that you definitely feel a lot better when you uh, come back from your run than when you start it. It just, it releases endorphins, you know, chemically it's proven to improve your, your general mood. And from personal experience and something I've done for many years now, I know what benefit it has on me. It makes me more productive, makes me happier, um, and makes me sleep better as well, actually. So there's so many benefits that come with um, going for an outdoor run, especially. Um, so that's something I do as regularly as possible. So I'd really advise that. Um, for you to do. Hello Gillsborough. As we all know it's really important to look after our mental health especially at the moment with lockdown 
And I do two things actually um, that I find really help me. One is to read a really good book and get lost in a different world. And the other is to use my exercise bike and play really loud music. So I'm keeping fit and enjoying myself. And it always, always makes me feel so much better. You need to find the thing that helps you. It's really important to look after yourself whilst we're not at school and we're not able to see our friends and our family. Some brilliant ideas there from our staff from walking their dogs, getting outside in the fresh air to exercise. Brilliant, well done. Please try all of those things. You might find that they really help your mental health and well-being. Now, the next clip is about a very, very, very special person who unfortunately passed away on Tuesday, but we have lots and lots of memories of this very special person and it's Captain Sir Tom Moore. And I want you to listen very carefully to why Sir Captain Tom Moore is such a special, special person to everybody in our country. Who was Captain Sir Tom Moore? Captain Sir Tom Moore was born in Keeley, West Yorkshire on the 30th of April in 1920. His mum was a teacher and his dad worked as a builder. Captain Sir Tom joined the British Army during World War II and rose to the rank of captain while serving in India. After the war, Captain Sir Tom took a job as a sales manager for a roofing company. After he retired, he needed treatment from the NHS for a broken hip. He hailed the excellent treatment he received from the NHS. When the UK went into the first lockdown last year, he saw a chance to give something back. In April 2020, Captain Sir Tom decided to try and raise a thousand pounds for NHS charities by walking a hundred laps of his garden before his 100th birthday. He actually raised 33 million pounds. On his 100th birthday, he received over 150,000 birthday cards from people all around the world. What an inspiration. Captain Sir Tom Moore shared his thoughts on the coronavirus pandemic. He's known for saying, We will get through it in the end, but it might take time. At the end of the day, we shall all be okay again. The sun will shine on you again and the clouds will go away. It's with really sad news that on Tuesday, Captain Sir Tom Moore has died. He was being treated in hospital for pneumonia and coronavirus, but passed away on Tuesday afternoon. The army veteran became famous when he raised millions of pounds for the NHS by walking a hundred laps of his garden before his 100th birthday. The Queen has issued a statement saying, My thoughts and those of the royal family are with Captain Tom's relatives. I recognise the inspiration he provided for the whole nation and others across the world. What an amazing man Sir Captain Tom Moore was. Thank you Sir Captain Tom Moore from everybody here at Gillsborough. We salute you. What a wonderful and inspirational man he was. We're very, very proud of you. Now, it's time for our story. And our Bible story this week is called The Good Idea. Now, again, it's from the New Testament. And I want you to listen very, very carefully. A Great Idea. There was a man who could not walk. He couldn't even get up. How I wish I could be like you, he said to his friends. The man could not walk, but had four good friends to help him. One day his friends had a great idea. We'll take you to Jesus, they said. Jesus will make you well. So they picked the man up on his bed mat and carried him to the house where Jesus was. But there was such a crowd at the door they couldn't get near. Let's try the stairs, said one of the friends. The stairs were outside the house. 
So they went up, right up, to the roof. The house had a flat roof made of dry mud and sticks. When they got there, the friends began to dig. They dug and dug right through the roof. They made a great big hole. Then they let the man down on his bed mat until there he was, right next to Jesus. Jesus looked down at the man. He looked up at the four good friends and he smiled. You want me to make him well? Jesus said, and so I will, completely well. Then he said to them, every bad thing you have done is forgiven. Now up you get, pick up that mat, you can walk home. And so the man did. I hope you enjoyed that story, children. Okay, now it's one of my favourite times of our Friday celebration worship. It is time for our gallery and to have a look at all the wonderful work that you have been doing this week, whether it's been at home or whether it's been at school. Take a look. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant work. You're doing a great job, everybody.
Now, because it's Mental Health Week, I'd also like to share a video that was sent to me this week that made me really, really smile. And it's been done by two of our pupils, two sisters, and I think it's very, very wise words. So listen carefully. I'm very, very proud of both of you. to Katie who is going to read our school prayer, a very important prayer to us. If you know it, join in and say Amen at the end. Dear Lord, thank you for our education, our school and the great teachers who help us through the day, for our friends who make us laugh and for all the adults who help us. Our school is unique for everybody in it. Thank you, Lord, for making us one big family. Amen. Thank you, Katie. That was read beautifully. Now we've come to the end of our assembly and I want to wish you all a wonderful weekend. Think about your mental health and well-being. Think about doing some of the activities that the teachers and the staff at Gillsborough do. OK, I'd like to say the Lord be with you. God bless you all. Stay safe. And I'm now going to hand over to Reverend Nat with another one of her brilliant, brilliant songs. Remember, if you're at home, join in with the action, sing the song. If you're at school or in a, a group of people, just do the actions. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you all next week. Now, if you're at home, you need to find some space so that you can join in with our action song. And if you're at school, can't do any singing, so we need to keep our mouths closed. But we can do lots of dancing and lots of actions as we sing Every Move I Make. So Every Move I Make. And at the beginning of the song, there's a little bit of free dancing going on, a bit of air guitar, a little bit of wiggling and jiggling. So you just do your own thing at the beginning and then follow me for the actions.
Well done. I think you need to sit down after that.